Okay guys, right off, I cannot take credit for thinking of this idea. Both ideas on this tire are from Demolition Missions by Mitch. Yeah, that's got a little bit of a ring to it. But, uh, you take an old sliding tool and you cut off every other piece of tread on both sides of the tire and you got yourself a mud tire. It's DOT, so you can should be allowed to run at any event. And then this tire flap protects your sidewall. I guess you could call it a sidewall protector. He calls them tire flaps. Um, some places do not allow these. They say that they'll fly off and hit the crowd. I don't think they will. But it's just a simple... I took a junk tire that was falling apart. I cut a sidewall out of it. And I put it on. Real easy to put on. Just pop your bead on one side of the tire. Set it on there. And then I take my knees on both sides of the tire. And my brother, he had a hammer. And he was hitting it in front of my knee. And then we had a pry bar. We had to get the last bit with a pry bar. So yeah. And if you're doing it on a Subaru, you have to cut the calipers. If you put a smaller tire on. This is off of a Toyota Tracel. Uh, here, I'll show you one of them on the car. This one we can only tread this side of the tire. I didn't realize that the other side was a lot more bald and shaving that off wasn't even worth our time. But I told him just finish treading this one. We threw a tire flap on it and it ought to have enough traction. Better than how it was. But um I wish I still had the tire off. I'd show you guys. We cut the caliper probably about at the halfway over where it overlapped the rotor. But we also cut the bolts that hold the caliper on. So I'm going to have to get the welder out and weld the caliper back together. Like just where the bolts are. i got to weld the bolts so they stay in. And then we'll just have half a caliper pad pushing on the rotor. And it should work. Also, that's another idea from Mitch. Although he, well, done much emissions. Although he, uh, he cut half of his road caliper off to make tire clearance when his rim crushed in. I needed it to be able to put this rim on. Otherwise, this section of the rim wouldn't. You couldn't even see the lug sticking through. And something to keep in mind: five lug Chevy, five lug Toyota, and five lug. Subaru are the same size. They're interchangeable. Although the Subaru you'll have to cut the caliper to fit these tires on. You can tell just by looking at my Subaru donut tire. You guys can really hear that wind can't you? But uh, you can see just how big that rim is of how much room they had to make for the caliper. Um, I'll probably end up having to cut this caliper as well. Just to make room for a spare tire, because I only have one donut tire from a Subaru. And the only other Subaru tires I have are all 16 inch rims. And in case this crushes down in, I want some tire clearance. So, I'll have to throw the other tires on. But this is my setup. It's running in a limited weld class. And I th think that's all needs said. So I hope you guys found this useful. Um, here's the original Subaru tires. You can see just how big of a, I just want to say a ridge of those sticking out. And these are aluminum, that's how I replaced them and the tires have like no tread left on them. But now this one we're able to do both sides. I really love how this looks. So, there you go. If you're a little skeptical if this works or not, go to Dumblish Emissions and watch his videos. Uh, he drove his Lumina with these tires in a mud pit. Uh, it was pretty much driving in like three inches of water. He had no problems at all. He was moving around and everyone else was having terrible times. So there you go guys. I will talk to you guys later.